Aloha, I'm Tim Apicella with Think Tech Hawaii, and I'm here with Penelope, and we're going to talk about the new bike share program called Beaky. Are you aware that there's going to be a thousand bikes placed on the streets of Waikiki in downtown Honolulu here shortly? Well, I've been hearing a bit. I didn't know the numbers, but I can see where now there are a lot of bike lanes. And would you ever think that you're going to get on one of these bikes and, and rent them either by the minute or by the week or by the month? You know, now that you mention it, I will think about it. I, I mean, I hadn't thought of it, but it does sound compelling because there are times where it's inconvenient to walk but too short to drive. Do you own a bike currently? No, I don't. So when's the last time you've been on a bike? Oh, it's been at least over 10 years, but I know how to ride. That's, that's <laughs> a good thing. So um, would you think about riding either just to go on errands, or do you think it would just be for pleasure? Both. I think the errands idea is great because of where I live, and that, uh, how shall I say, it eases the congestion of traffic, especially with a lot of construction going on. And the idea for, I've been in cities where you almost can't own a car here in this country. And, and I think Honolulu has gotten very congested. So, you know, even though there's public, the buses run really well where I live, but to go one block or two blocks, a bike would be better. Okay, and then now here's the tough question. Um, bike Share Hawaii is not offering any helmets. Would that influence your decision whether you would get on a bike or not? No, the helmet wouldn't cost as much as buying a new bike. Okay, good point. So you don't have any concerns about other drivers and this, any kind of safety issues um, with getting on a bike in our congested streets at all? I've seen, I've driven past the lanes. I don't see any accidents going on. I, um, how shall I say, as a driver, I'm aware of those lanes and stay clear of them as much as possible. I, you know, I'm all in support for the idea that we want to help people be mobile and vehicle not everybody can afford a car either these days good point okay so last question is um it's going to cost 15 dollars for 30 minutes how do you feel about that pricing well it sounds a little high right now a little high yeah i i mean 15 minutes for 15 dollars that gets you one way someplace well, 30 minutes for 15 dollars uh how about an hour Okay, there you hear it. I'm Think Tech Hawaii with Penelope, and uh, aloha. Um, I, uh, I was riding for a while. I voted for the bike lane, um, so I gave up my car and uh, got a bike, and I rode to work every day for a couple years. Uh, I still ride. Um, I noticed there's one going to be installed up the road here. I work right down here. probably would help me get around town a little bit if I needed to run an errand or something. Um, I'm also from Boston, Massachusetts originally, and they have that implemented, uh, as well as San Francisco. Right, Boston and, and both of them have programs. Now, we just recently heard a criticism that the annual pass for local residents here in Honolulu is 100% higher than what you would experience in Boston. Um, about $180 here in Honolulu versus $90 in Boston. Um, were you aware of the pricing structure? I'm not, actually. That's surprising. So, for an annual pass. Yeah. Now you could you That's could a bit much, a little bit. You, Okay. Yeah. Do you think that would be a deterrent from you uh, from taking advantage of it? Yeah, it would actually. Would you if you were to buy a pass, would you buy a short term by the minute? They're pricing them by the minute basically. I would most likely buy by the minute. Yeah, short term. Um, but I would hope that they would come down on the annual pass. It would make sense. Okay, well, that was this gentleman's argument that I just interviewed here on our show. Um, what suggestions would you have for Bike Share Hawaii other than maybe the, the pass price? Would you have any other suggestions? Um, I wouldn't have suggestions for the program. I'd have suggestions for drivers to be aware and allow Honolulu to be a more pedestrian-friendly city. Well, that's a good point. One of the things that they mentioned before the uh, putting these bikes on the street is that these bikes are going to have a traffic calming uh, effect, which is one way of saying they're going to kind of create a little more congestion on our streets. Um, do you think that's a wise thing to have happen? Uh, they said the same thing about the other cities that they implemented it in, um, and so far it's been successful, that piece of it. So you didn't see any increased um, people getting frustrated or any road rage occurring against bicyclists 
because they are now on the streets and I can't say that there was zero. <laughs> I think it's an evolutionary process, uh, but you have to start somewhere. And if you don't start, you don't know. So. How long ago in Boston did your program take place, or that program take place? We're, I think it's like four or five years now So that it's widespread. They had done pilot programs smaller, right, in, in Boston proper, but it's pretty big now. Cambridge, Alston. Well, the advantage here in Honolulu is that we have 12 months of great weather, we have flat terrain, we have a lot of tourists that also would take advantage of it. Would you consider yourself um, a commuter that would take advantage of it, or just, like you said, maybe an occasional rider? Um, more occasional rider, but uh, if I were in the right situation, I would commute with it. So these bikes are going on the street right now, today. Um, when do you think you're going to take advantage of it? Uh, I'll probably look up the cost see what the program is, see what works out for my budget, and then invest, and then I'll have it whenever I need it. All right. Well, I want to thank you for taking the time and sharing your interest with this new program, and thanks for stopping. Thank you. I'm Tim Apicello with ThinTech Hawaii. I'm here with Daniel, and Daniel, I believe you're involved with a biking organization. Would you remind me which one that is? Yeah, so uh, I'm the advocacy director for Hawaii Bicycling League, so we're a nonprofit dedicated to getting more people on bikes. And you're doing a great job. So what do you think about the, uh, the implementation of a thousand beaky bikes on the streets of Waikiki and here in downtown? Yeah, so I think bike share is going to be really good for mobility in the city. It's going to be good for our health, you know, because mobility can be really tried in the health if you use active transportation, walking, biking. Um, if you look to cities around the world, uh, in the U.S., a lot of them, uh, bike share allows people to get on bikes that aren't currently on bikes. And it, it, there's a lot of reasons that people might not bike. I mean, of course, safety is one of them, but a lot of times um, it's uh, convenience of I need a car to, say, get from my home to my workplace, but to get to lunch or to run an errand or uh, maybe to get to the beach from my place, it would make sense to bike, but it doesn't make sense for me to own one or it doesn't make sense for me to have one in a particular place. So bike share, uh, basically, it allows um, uh, uh, a lot more people to have the option to bike. Right now, it's a question of t to what seg seg uh, segment of the marketplace is going to take advantage of this new program. Will it be commuters or would-be commuters? that would use it you know 12 months out of the year or is this program geared more to tourists which way do you think it's going to go i think it's going to be both yeah certainly there's a lot of stations in uh, waikiki and obviously um, some of those are oriented towards our visitor community and i think great uh, get them get them biking maybe they won't rent cars as much they'll reduce our congestion and parking congestion as well uh, but i think a lot of uh, commuters will use it as well I and mean, you think about how many people work in waikiki I mean, part of the parking headache and complaints uh, people have for parking in Waikiki are people trying to get there to their jobs, and they can't be spending $20 a day for, for the parking rates. They need another option, so they take the bus or they take a bike. And um, in cases, bike theft is a major problem in Waikiki. So we've heard from people that decide, hey, I'm not going to bike anymore. I'm tired of getting my bike stolen. I, I, I don't have a secure spot to lock it. So maybe bike share will allow them um, to bike and uh, not drive, not pay that extra to drive. Um, and then I think for some people too, tying it into their bus system. So there are a lot of people that may be coming from Moania downtown and it doesn't make sense to take the bus or because they need their car for errands over the course of the day. But this way they can take the bus for that long haul trip and then once they get to town they can take the bike around. So I think we're going to find a lot of locals using it. Um, I know the pricing system has gotten some criticism. Um, I do think the $15 a month for the uh, unlimited 30 minute rides, it's, it, I think that's going to work for a lot of people. Yeah. Um, I mean, basically, that's, that's the criticism is over the cost of an annual pass, and the criticism is that it's 100% greater than most cities on the mainland, where $90 is usually the cost of an annual pass, or $85. And in this case, if you take $15 times 12 months, you're you're sporting at $180. So I think that's that's where the criticism is, is kind of focused on is that local residents are not getting quite the same price break as in some other major cities in the in the country. I mean, certainly in terms of, uh, of access, we'd love it to be on the less expensive side. Um, I don't think the $15 is going to be prohibitive to many people. Uh, we're looking forward to, as Beaky moves, moves forward, um, trying to come up with options that might work for some of our lower income folks for that, where that $15 might be a challenge. But I think for the majority of people, it's a reasonable transportation cost. Um, you think about our bus pass is $60 a month, uh, parking here in downtown. I know it can range from $100 to $200. 
Um, so if you think about it in that landscape of how much it really costs to get, get around, um, I think that if it allows people to conveniently get um, to the places they need to get, it's a winner. Let me address one other point of criticism I'm hearing from my, my fellow neighbors is that the number of uh, on-street parking stalls are being removed equates to about 25 or 30 stalls just in the, you know, in the areas because these stations are going on both the sidewalk and the street. Any, uh, any comments about some of the uh, criticisms about parking spaces being removed off the street? So I think the main thing to keep in mind, this is a transportation option. It's a public transportation amenity that's available to all. Not everyone will use it, but many will. And so that means even though it's displacing uh, someone's uh, car vehicle, more people will use one of those stations. Those stations that uh, might displace one or two parking spots will typically have 15 bicycles in them. So if we look at that space as a valuable public commodity, and we think about it, it's, it's designed largely for transportation purposes. And this is a transportation amenity that has the potential to serve many more people than, than a single parking spot does. So I think we really need to think about it. Um, and uh, we have a city, a relatively dense city, um, in which it's practical to get around by a bike. And coming up with easier ways for people to get around by bike and to tie that with our wonderful bus system, I think is ultimately going to lead to a lot more uh, transportation options and a lot more freedom of mobility. Well, Daniel, you're a great advocate for bicycling. Keep up the good work. I'm Tim Apache with Think Tech Hawaii. Thank you for sharing your time with us. Thank you for your time.